Benjamin Franklin once said, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man strong as f Good morning, everyone. I'm Alan Thrall, and in this video, I'm gonna explain why working out in the morning is the superior time to train. You take a mortal man. So first, let's talk about who this video is not for. This video is not for someone who's totally happy with their current routine. Someone who never misses training sessions, someone who has no problem sleeping at night, someone who's full of energy in all their training sessions. This video is not for someone who's never distracted during their training sessions, a person that goes into a training session with a clear mind. This video is not for someone who has to start their day or start getting ready for work at 5 a.m. because waking up at 2 a.m. just to work out is probably a bad idea, unless you go to bed at 6 p.m. And this video is not for someone who lives a pretty low-key, low-stress, manageable lifestyle. Now, if you can't check all those boxes I just listed, hear me out. Are you unhappy with your current routine and schedule? Do you find yourself frequently missing sessions because your to-do list becomes overwhelming? Do you frequently get distracted with your day-to-day -day and let time slip away from you, forcing you to miss training sessions? Is it a constant battle to switch gears and get yourself to the gym? Do you lack energy in your training sessions? Do you feel like your mind is preoccupied during training sessions? Are you not sleeping well at night? Are you constantly underwhelmed with your lack of drive in the gym? Are you a busy person? If you answered yes to most of these questions, morning workouts might be just what the doctor ordered. Reason number one why training in the morning is superior to any other time of day, the gym is less busy. There's something beautiful about a quiet morning gym. The only noises are plates clanging over the hum of grunts and groans. There are fewer people training in the morning before work, so now you don't have to fight for equipment. If you like doing supersets or giant sets, you can set up whatever you'd like with less fear that your equipment will be hijacked by other gym goers. If you like to take your time between sets, you don't have to deal with glaring eyes waiting for you to finish in the squat rack or on the bench press. People who go to the gym early in the morning are usually motivated individuals. This is not me trying to virtue signal or pretend like I'm superior because I train in the morning, but it's true for the most part. People who wake up early to be proactive about their workouts tend to be motivated people or just disciplined, which means these motivated people are focused on the task at hand. They are most likely on a time schedule because they have a full day of life ahead of them. So they're less likely to chit chat and start small talk with you. Reason number two why training in the morning is the superior time to train, there are less distractions. Not only is the gym less busy and people are less likely to be chatty, the rest of the world is probably still asleep, which means phone calls, texts, DMs, even emails are less likely to distract you. I like to train with my watch on and if I have to train at 2 p.m., this thing is buzzing like crazy with texts, phone calls, a lot of spam phone calls. And now I could just put my phone and watch out of sight so that I'm not interrupted. And I will if I need to, but once I finish my workout, I now have a bunch of unanswered messages that I have to tend to. Sometimes it's kind of urgent stuff that I shouldn't ignore. Since I'm a dad and a gym owner, I can't really hide from everything for 90 minutes during a weekday afternoon. I've got to be available. And as the universe tends to work in mysterious ways, if my training session can be interrupted, it will be. So it's better to do my workouts while everyone is still asleep. Now you might be thinking, why don't I just do my workouts at night while everyone's asleep? Wouldn't that be the same thing? And not quite, and I'll explain why in these next couple of points. Reason number three, starting your day with a workout means you have no choice but to finish all of your workout. You are carving out a dedicated time slot to train before your day starts, so nothing should be in your way. If you're at the gym at 5.30 a.m. and you have to leave at 7 a.m. to get ready for work, you're not gonna cut the workout short at 6.15 a.m. What, so you can get to work early? Who does that? If you're a busy person and you train in the afternoon, there will always be tasks that need to be done. So going back and forth in your head saying, you know, I think I'm gonna cut this workout short so I can finish these tasks, is probably something you experience. When you train at night, sleep is knocking on your door. Every minute you work out is a minute of sleep lost. The longer you're in the gym, the less sleep you get. The sooner you finish the workout, the sooner you can lay down for bed. This rolls nicely into reason number four. Morning workouts allow you to be more productive throughout the day. If you get to bed early and you wake up early, you sacrifice nothing to work out. If you're a busy dude or a busy gal and you wanna train in the afternoon or evening, you kinda of have to be selfish. 
By going to the gym, you are sacrificing something else that you could be doing. But by training first thing in the morning, preferably before the rest of the world is awake, this means that you have the entire day to take care of tasks. Picking the kids up from school, dropping them off at sports practice or music lessons, grocery shopping, making dinner, going out to eat with friends, running errands, doing house projects and repairs. This is all stuff that can't be done in the 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. hour, but your workout can fit this time slot. So don't plug it in with all the other things you have to do. Working out first thing in the morning not only frees up your entire day, it also alleviates the stress of needing to change gears. Personally, this is something that I struggle with and it's why I'm a morning bird 95% of the time. If I'm doing something, I wanna finish it. I don't like abruptly stopping, making a U-turn and changing gears to go lift. I don't like having multiple half-finished projects all open at the same time. I wanna do this, finish, move on to that. Do my workout, finish it, start my day. And there are times when I don't finish my full morning workout, but I might have done 80% of it before the day starts. So now I only have to figure out how to do 20% of it later on in the afternoon, which is much easier than doing 100% of a workout. Reason number five, working out in the morning means you are less stressed out and anxious throughout the day. I will fully admit that I am like a character in a Snickers commercial. Have a workout, Alan. You're not you when you haven't had your workout yet. If my workout is out of the way by 7 a.m., it's all smiles and downhill cruising from here, baby. Flat tire, something breaks in the gym, kids are crying or not feeling good, dishes piling up, house needs to be cleaned, backyard fence blew over in a storm, tree branch fell on my house, kids need to be taken to the ER for stitches, landlord calls and tells me the entire neighborhood is protesting untamed strength because the constant sound of weight slamming on the ground is too much. All gravy, I'll take care of it now. None of life's obstacles get in the way of your morning workout. You don't have to worry about the black cloud of things to do looming overhead while you're trying to train. When I was in the Marine Corps, I would train early in the morning, sometimes waking up at 2.30 a.m. just so I could actually wake up, train, and then be ready for 0600 roll call. Even if my day was supposed to be fairly laid back, even if on paper I should have time to train tomorrow, even if we expected to be off work in the afternoon on time, I was always prepared for the worst. A lot of times someone would do something stupid and we would be held at work all evening to clean, or they'd punish us by restricting us to the barracks all night. You couldn't go to the gym. So front loading my workouts first thing in the morning by doing this, while everyone was asleep, I was in control. Getting my workout in was up to me. It was my responsibility to wake up, to get to the gym and finish my workout. I was in control, no one else was. And this happens in civilian life too. I work with clients who need to reschedule appointments because their boss holds them late for a work project or they hit some unexpected delays and they have to work late. This concept of front loading can be helpful in other areas of life as well, like diet. If I know I'm going out for pizza tonight or to a birthday party with a bunch of snack foods, I will front load my calories and protein earlier in the day. And I might even restrict saturated fat so that if I do eat pizza, I'm not worried about eating a low protein meal with high saturated fat because my day evens out. Or I might decide just to not eat at all because I know that I already had enough nutrition for the day anyways. Reason number six why morning workouts are the best, you will have more energy in your workouts. Now I know this is gonna trigger a lot of knee-jerk reactions to say that you're gonna have more energy first thing in the morning than you would in the afternoon or the evening, but if you're a busy person, you probably feel more tired as the day goes on, and by the time the sun goes down, you are ready for bed. There's a reason the 2 p.m. slump exists, or why the 4 p.m. power hour before getting off work is the toughest hour to endure. And there's a reason why people become glued to their couch after work. You're tired. People who train in the morning aren't any different than you. We don't wake up with birds chirping and kissing our nose. I am tired first thing in the morning. My body creaks when I get out of bed. I shuffle around the house at a snail's pace. I really, really want to stay in bed under my warm covers, but I want to get my workout done more than I want to stay in bed under those covers. So I do. Yes, it takes a little bit longer to warm up once you're in the gym, but once you start moving around, you're awake. I am more awake an hour after rising than I am at 3 p.m. or 9 p.m. If you drink caffeine, this is the best time to drink it. Once that caffeine juice hits your lips, it should give you a placebo effect, a big old placebo effect boost of energy. By waking up early, drinking caffeine only in the morning if you decide to drink caffeine, staying up throughout the day, no naps, keeping your mind and body active all day, 
This will ensure you sleep like a rock at nighttime, which will make it easier to wake up early. For most people, if you're tired for the first half of your day, and then you load up on caffeine in the late afternoon just so you can train really hard before bedtime, your cycle is backwards. You've got to break that cycle, and it might take a few weeks to do it, but your life will be changed for the better if you can make that adjustment. So if you currently can't sleep at night, and you do train before bed, and you drink caffeine, I encourage you to flip that schedule around. I speak from experience. My schedule was all over the place when I had newborn babies in the house, and I did have to train at 10 p.m. sometimes, sometimes as late as midnight. I did not take caffeine before my late workouts, but these workouts were still the most stimulative part of my day. My heart rate was as maxed out as it was throughout the entire day. I was mentally as hyped as I could be. Then I would finish my workout and I'd try to fall asleep. And even as a sleep deprived parent, I just couldn't sleep. I would lay in bed and it would feel good. My body would be relieved, but I wouldn't get a deep sleep. Morning workouts have been ingrained in me even at a young age. Every day in high school, I had zero period weight training, so my days started with a workout. I would do a weight training workout before I even started school. When I got out of high school, I worked 10 hour work days outside. In the summer, it was over 100 degrees outside. I was into running at this time, and I would run one to two hours before my work day even started because I knew I was gonna be dead tired and probably sunburned after work. Waking up early sucked less than trying to run 10 miles in 100 degree heat after a long day of work, so I did it. You can program your body to be more accustomed to morning workouts if you stay consistent. And there is no magic to working out at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. If you don't start work until 9 a.m., you could just hit the gym at 7 a.m. on your way in. If you work from home, just do your workout first thing in the morning rather than later on in the afternoon. That's it. I hope that helps. I'll see you at the gym tomorrow morning. And always remember, Train on time!